everyone. In this demo, I will be talking about our work on visual causal question and answering using knowledge graph link prediction. This is part of our work on causal knowledge graph. The video will consist of two parts, overall idea and framework behind the system and an interactive demonstration of the system. The motivation behind this work is to enhance the explainability of events in a visual system by understanding the causal association between objects and events using these causal association to explain and possibly predict the occurrence of future events. This work can be further used for problems which involve cause and effect associations such as root cause analysis at time of system failure, cause and effect of a collision understanding in the autonomous driving systems and can also be used for trajectory prediction of a vehicle after a collision. In a visual system which has events of form, an event causes another event, where the first event is the cause and the second event is the effect. We are interested in two types of questions, causal explanation and causal prediction, where causal explanation explains what led to the occurrence of a given event and causal prediction predicts the possible occurrence of future events using our causal link prediction framework. The architecture of our visual causal Q&A system consists of three layers data layer, causal link prediction layer, and user layer. The first layer is the data layer, which consists of video from Clever dataset, which this is a simulated video dataset involving collision between multiple objects in a scene, and a causal event graph from Clever Humans, which is a visual causal reasoning benchmark dataset. It consists of a graph of events occurring in Cleverer with edges labeled by human annotators. The labels on the edges denotes the weightage of causal links between the two events. Using the object level information from the video, event information from causal event graph, we create a causal knowledge graph. The generated causal knowledge graph is conformant with our published causal ontology pattern. In the next step, we use the causal effect weights along with the causal triples to train a weighted knowledge graph embedding model which will be used for causal link prediction. This is the first work to our knowledge which incorporates causal weights in the causal link prediction framework for visual question and answering. The second layer is the causal link prediction layer which shows the data split for the task of causal explanation and causal prediction. In order to simulate the task of answering explanation and prediction questions about events in a video, particular events should not be observed by the causal link prediction system. In short, the first few causal events in the video are hidden while training the causal explanation model and the last few are hidden for the causal prediction model which is denoted in the figure using the cutoff marker for the two models. Furthermore, causal explanation involves caused by type and causal prediction involves causes type predicates for, from causal knowledge graph for the link prediction task. The third layer is the user layer which illustrates the graphical user interface of the visual causal Q&A system. Let us dive into the interactive visual causal Q&A system now. User to select a video of interest from the drop down menu. Let us choose video 10036. This takes the user to the next screen where you can see the video is playing in the top right corner. You can choose a new video from the drop down menu directly. There are six events occurring in the video which are listed in the bottom left corner. The yellow ball came from the bottom, the gray ball came from the left and so on. Now let us try to find an explanation for a given event. Let us find the explanation for the yellow cylinder hitting the right blue cylinder. For the explanation, the system masks the first few causal event while training the model. The model cut correctly answers come from event which is associated with the yellow cylinder, which eventually led to its hitting of the blue cylinder. For the causal prediction, let us ask which event will occur after the gray ball enter from the left. Now, let us pause this video after the gray ball entering from the left. So, for the prediction, the system masks the last few causal event while training the model. The model correctly predicts a hit event. The gray ball enter from the left causes a hit with the yellow cylinder and the red ball. Similarly, we can ask causal prediction for other events as well.